Hello, and welcome to Smooth Drift Tunes with King Posh. Today I want to show you guys my Ford um, F450, uh, my all-wheel drive uh, drift tune for this thing. Um, this is a great bass tune for you guys to um, uh, mess with if you want to, or you can just take my tune as is. Um, so let's get into everything um, and uh, show you guys all the good stuff. So if you want the share code to this thing, as you can tell, all the power is right there. You can always pause and just read all that information. And then here is the share code for it. Got it? Good. Uh, this thing's fun. I um, absolutely love uh, this, uh, this truck. Um, so let me show you guys what I've done to it. So then if you need to make a uh, replica, you can. So I'm using the 7.4 liter uh, V8 twin turbo. Okay, stock drivetrain, all wheel drive. Nothing in the front, nothing in the rear. My tire compound is stock tire compound. Maxed out 315 in the front, stock in the rear 450. Go back into there. <laughs> I got the TC 105 ends. 20s in the front. 20s in the rear. We got race clutch. We got a 9 speed race transmission. We got the race drive line. And we got a race differential. You could put a drift differential on there if you want to. Um, that is entirely up to you. Okay. Got race brakes. Rally springs since there is no drift kit. You're going to have to watch with this car. Truck. This, I call it a car all the time. Either way. Um, you got to watch out for this truck. Because it doesn't have a drift kit. Don't go complete like sideways. If you do, the back end's going to just you know take over and you you could spin out all right make sure you have a roll cage or you can or not you can save almost 400 pounds um that is up to you i was just trying to keep the uh, a class going up as close to an a800 as possible so that's why i went with that anyways got the weight race rate reduction and that's it that's all you can do because of the engine there is no upgrades it just comes naturally with 1750 horsepower so there's no other things you can put onto the engine itself um, so it's like you just install it and go um, and there's that so let me show you guys the tune show you guys what I've done to this thing It's got a straight build, so you can drive in a straight line. It's got a very soft uh, suspension. I'm using the weight of the truck to really drift. Um, that's why I have it that way. Same as with the dampening. There is no downforce. Braking, I left just stock. I know how you guys are. Um, so we did that. And then because uh, it's a, uh, a dually, um, I have 84% going to the uh, rear for more tire spinning action. And there you have it. There is the tune. Um, the build. Uh, and the only thing we can do now is we'll just take it outside and, you know, take it sideways a little bit for you guys. Show you a little bit of everything. It's that tire spinning. Blow through that stop sign. And she is a slider. Hey, Absolutely so much done. fun. Oh, hey, look at that. Well, maybe we'll put some bonus feature in here. Let's go check out the Ferrari uh, 250. 
But yeah, this thing is an absolute beast. Um, when I first took it down, um, here, let me show you. When I took it down this drift section here, I was able to get over a million points with it. Um, so it is, I did like 1 million and 50. Now there's gonna be traffic here because we're not in um, online because it keeps on saying disconnected, disconnected. Now, like I said, I wanted to show you guys, I'm gonna try to take this thing two sideways. All right. All right. And it's about right there. So, if you take this thing two sideways, you might not be able to, um, you know, regain control. Um, I'm about right here sideways. You know, just ease into it. You'll be okay. Right here, this is great. You know, I can really work with this. You know, as long as I'm making points, you know, that's it. Anything more than that, you are most likely going to spin out and you're not going to be able to regain control. Uh, that is just how it's going to be. Since there is no drift kit on it. You can tell this thing is just smooth. Absolutely fun to, fun to drift around. So let's go back. Let's go to the house. Let's go check out the last barn find that I have. It took two days for it to um, become available for me. Yeah, I love this truck. It's so much fun. I highly recommend you guys definitely checking out uh, this out and see what you think of it. Um, and if you need to change anything, I gave you the tune. So, as you can tell, I have everything. And here we go. See that? That is the most expensive Ferrari ever sold at auction. The last time one was found sitting on a trailer, it ended up being worth $40 million. So, $40 million. Do do? I, I know a few dealers I could call. It's pretty sweet. Let's have a look at this thing. Well, we can open up the doors and that looks about it. You can't open up the engine compartment or anything. You know, you, you would think being Horizon 5, they would do something about that. Um, but it is what it is. I do want to know, can we get a better engine in there than what it has? That's all I care about. Okay, there's a 4.5 liter V8 and a 3.5 liter V8. So, and this one's definitely lighter. Um, awesome. So, because... I think in uh, Horizon 4, all you could do was upgrade the original engine, and it had 600 horsepower, I believe. Let's uh, let's see here. See if I can remember that. Oh, we only got 450 horsepower? Huh. Out of the stock? Everything on there? I think we're going to put a turbo, I think, on there. Just to see. Is there a turbo? There is a turbo. Twin turbo. 51. Go down here. There's 572. 602 horsepower. So they added two more horsepower to the stock engine. Um, so there you have it. There's what you can get out of the stock engine. That's all you could get out of the stock engine on, and there was no engine upgrades. Um, so there's that. So at least these, you know, you're able to get more power, um, out of them. I mean, right there, right there, you're already over. You're over, you know, so... Either way, 
Well, hey guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely hit that like button. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace out, and stay sideways, my friends.